hi 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 hello friends welcome to my youtube channel we will continue SSG 2013 electrical solutions part 7 the question on the screen is silicon content in iron laminations is kept within 5% as it is so silicon where we are using, uh, using it is so silicon uh, having a good resistance that means silicon steel means steel is having good conducting property so in order to uh, reduce eddy current losses so eddy current losses is proportional to conductivity so if you want to reduce the conductivity we have to reduce the uh, we have to increase the resistance so in order to increase the resistance we are adding steel with the silicon so if you are adding more and more silicon what will happen more than five percent means the steel is going to brittle so the option is A is correct. Silicon content in iron laminations is kept within 5% as it makes the material brittle. Next, a watt meter is marked 15 amps or 30 amps, 300 volts or 600 volts, and its scale is marked up to 4,500 watts. When the meter is connected to 30 amps and 600 volts, the point indicated. 2000 watts the actual power in the circuit is so here uh, I will take the example here so the rating of the meter is so rating is how much it is it is actual rating is 15 amps and 300 volts it shows how much up to 4500 watts so here 0 so here 4500 watts of energy it's showing now we are extending this range to so 30 amps and 600 volts so by the help of this uh, changes a uh, potential meter changes here uh, we can changing this to 30 amps and 600 volts now the reading is how much now we can measure up to so 30 into 60 is nothing but 18,000 watts now what we are doing here is we are connected in this configuration that is 0 to 18,000 configuration connected here, but the actual reading of actual reading of the watt meter is indicating how much here it is. Say for example, 2,000 watts it's indicating. Okay, 2,000 watts indicating. So how much proportional here? So proportional means we can go for the multiplication factor. So what is the multiplication factor? 18,000 divided by 4,500 is nothing but four. So here the actual reading is actual it is showing 2000 on the screen so what is the actual value here so it is so 2000 into 4 it will be around 8000 that is the actual value so we can solve this problem by other method that is so p is equal to v into i into cos phi into ct ratio into pt ratio so what is the voltage here so voltage is how much so 300 into 15 so cost per minute to find here into ct ratio is how much so 15 by 30 into pt ratio is 300 by 600 volts so from this you can find the what's the power power is 2000 watts so cost phi is nothing but 0 0.4444 now the actual reading so P is equal to actual how it is how much it is 30 into 600 into power factor is 0 0.4444 you get approximately 8000 watts here yeah. the next question is resistance switching is normally employed in so before going to what's the resistance switching so we'll go to the principle of cross bla cross blast a circuit breaker in which when the two contacts are getting open open the arc is uh, arc is created between these two contacts so when uh, when the air flow takes place like this the arc is getting quenching here like this that means it enters into arc splitter so that the length of the arc increases so arc is quickly extinguished here and this is about cross blast a circuit breaker so what will happen here so here actually so when the uh, air is flowing here the arc is getting zero so once the arc is getting zero means whatever the energy is stored in the 
transmission line half L square is become suddenly zero here. So according to law of conservation of energy, it is cannot be happened suddenly. So what will happen? So half L square it's a electro magnetic energy getting converted into electro static energy. So this static energy appears where? So this static energy appears between these two contacts. So these two contacts again what will happen uh, because of this high amount of electrostatic energy again the contacts in between the contacts the arc will restrict again that's what we call restricting voltage so this is majorly or uh, the intensity of this thing is maximum when you make the current interruption before natural current zero that means we can call as current chopping current chopping okay so current chopping as you can see here so we are uh, making the current zero before natural current zero what is the natural zero here in a sinusoidal waveform we have the current zero here and current zero here current zero here. current zero points are there so before it we are interrupting means that's called that's what we call current chopping so this is especially more in case of air blast circuit breakers The next question is if the angular frequency of alternating voltage is w or omega then the angular frequency of instantaneous real power absorbed in a circuit is so as you can see here i am considering example for a r load so r load so p is equal to product of uh, instantaneous values of i of t and v of t so here so from this a derivation for uh, derivation we can get this one as p is equal to vm uh, by root 2 into im by root 2 is nothing but vrms into irms minus vrms into irms into cos 2 omega t as you can observe here for a complete one cycle from starting from here to here so here how many number of output cycles are there so one two three and four there are four cycles if you consider the frequency from this point so one cycle and from here to here and here to here it will be two cycles so the answer is two cycles instantaneous real power absorbed by AC, AC circuit is two cycles are two times that of fundamental supply frequency then the next question here is if the transistor is having VCE is equal to 5 volts so this is 5 volts and VP is 0 0.7 and beta is 45 so beta is 45 and the value of R so in order to solve this problem I'm assuming that the transistor is in active region so I will take the voltage source as a 24 here and applying K value here so minus 24 plus 8 K minus 8000 into IE so here the current flowing is IC plus IE why because it's a collector feedback configuration so IC plus IE uh, sorry IC plus IB here so which is nothing but IE plus 5 volts plus 230 into IE is equal to 0 if you solve this IE is getting you are getting as 2.3 milliamps now we know that IE is equal to 1 plus beta into IB so IB is equal to 2.3 milliamps divided by 45 plus 1 so that you can find the value of IB once you find the IB, again we will try, uh, try to write the loop equation like this. So minus 24 plus 8 plus 230 into IE plus R. IB is how much? 5 to 24 minus 5 plus 0 0.7 volts is equal to 0. So R is equal to, we will get it as 85.64K. So previous K, in the previous uh, question asked is which component is used to uh, block DC voltage it is capacitor as you can see here in the given question thank you friends thanks for watching have a nice day